Oftentimes when you have an app that's had just an amazing level of success, third-party developers are going to look to copy that success in order to cash in. iSlash by Duella Games happens to probably be one of those games. Accurately known as a Fruit Ninja clone, iSlash contains 50 levels of slashing fun, as I like to call it. Um, it was released on September 3rd, 2010, and it takes approximately 12 MB on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So let's start up the app. One thing that I love about this app is how fast it loads. It's already ready to go. Very solid, um, very plain interface, just the play. You have an options menu that doesn't really have that many um, options to say. It's just the music and sound effects buttons. If you go back to the menu, you will see that there are credits for the developers. Um, just basically, Duella Games and one other place. Now, starting up the game, you will see that very simple interface, just very box-like. As you start the game, you will notice that it has a quick tutorial where it shows you that you have to swipe certain parts in order to get the stars to match in the same area. Uh, if you hit a star when you're trying to slash off an area, game over. It's that simple and it'll make you restart. Your goal is to get most of this green thing down to this red bar right over here. This way you can clear the level and win it. Now, very simple design for a lot of the levels. It is actually a very good concept in theory. It works actually very well. Um, you just slash off pieces in order to get the two stars as close as possible together while getting this bar down. And then afterwards it'll show you how long you took in order to do it, um, how many slashes you took, and how much you actually managed to cut off. Now, I really don't see the point in this because there's not really a level rater in the game but I guess if you're trying just to beat it out of your own I guess boredom this will give you a good idea of how you actually accomplished on that level after you've beaten a level you have three options either next level restart the level to see if you can get a better uh, score over here or um, select level or it takes you back to the level select screen for the purpose of this review I'm just going to pick select level it takes you back to the interface where it gives you 12 options per page. Um, as I said, you have 50 levels. The developers have promised to add more, which is very good considering that as long as they're free updates, you really can't beat it for 99 cents. Um, as you progress, the levels get harder. Like, for instance, in this one, you have multiple stars coming off at once that if you are not careful, it's game over. So let's just say I'm trying to do it you can't, you have to have all the stars together, you can't separate them, and let's just say I hit a star. Shuriken comes up, game over, and it restarts you right from the beginning. This can get especially annoying towards the end of the game when this little red thing up here is all the way over here, so you basically have to take off everything, and you have stars flying all over the place. It is a sense of um, accomplishment when you do manage to beat one of these levels. It takes a lot of uh, quick reflexes, time management, a lot of other stuff. Um, it's not a big battery drain either, which is a good thing. I like it for that reason in particular. I did notice it takes a little bit less battery than Fruit Ninja in order to run. Um, whether or not that really bothers you, I don't know. If you wish to quit a level, I've really yet to find it. There, you just press that little uh, pause sign over there. And then you have three options, either resume game, restart level, or select level. I'm just going to select the level. Menu. If you have a newer iDevice, you can simply click out, and if you want to go back into it at some point, simply open up the multitasking tray and put it in your back. Very easy to do if you want to just take quick breaks. Um, this game is good in short spurts. I don't know if I would play it continuously because it does get a little bit, although it's fun, it does get a little bit boring over time. Um, if you're looking for a Good pick up and play game that you can play in short spurts. I definitely recommend iSlash. As I said before, it is 99 cents on the App Store. It is currently free as of October 20. What's today? The 4th, 2010. If you can't get it free, I still think for 99 cents it's a good price if you have not bought Fruit Ninja. If you have not, if you have bought Fruit Ninja and you're looking for something else, if you have not bought Fruit Ninja, definitely get Fruit Ninja first because it is a superior game. All in all, I like iSlash. 
I just think that Fruit Ninja is better. Thank you. Have a nice day.